Hi and welcome to this Market Bar XP video where we're going to be looking at using BlueStacks on a Windows PC. Um, this is the BlueStacks emulator that I've added on my Windows PC our test device. And you can see I've installed Market Bar XP here. And I can click on Market Bar XP and I'm able to select a project and I'm able to use all of the same features as uh, I would do if I was on a normal Android device. And in this video, we're going to cover exactly how we go about setting up Mark of RXP to be used on a, on a Windows PC so you can get a little bit more from your stitching. So, how do you go about adding BlueStacks to your Windows PC? Well, if you navigate to this web address, I'll put this down in the comments below. It takes you to the BlueStacks webpage where you have these options here to download the BlueStacks application. So all we have to do is to click on the link. It will download the installer. Uh, this version is 5.10.20.1003. And we're going to run that. And that will then ask us to install BlueStacks on our device. And yes, we're just going to install. And I'm, I'm not going to customize the installation. I'm going to use all the default uh, settings to install uh, BlueStacks. And we'll just run through the whole process here so you can see exactly what's involved. So we're just going to let BlueStacks download all of the data. And then we'll show you how to install it. So once BlueStack has downloaded uh, the relevant files, it'll start, it'll just check your environment and then it'll start extracting the files as we're seeing here. BlueStacks has now been uh, installed and we can see the version is 5.10.20.1003 uh, and it's the 64-bit version of BlueStacks. It's important to ensure that you've installed the 64-bit version of BlueStacks. If you haven't done that, then Markup RXP might not work. If you click this button here, which is the Multiple Instance Manager, you can just double check to see if it is the 64-bit version. And if you look at the instances here, you could potentially create a, a fresh instance and you've got the 32 bits or the 64-bit versions that you can choose from. Once you go through that steps, there's a few little more steps that you would need to set it up, but just make sure that you do have the 64-bit version of BlueStacks available. And that is how we can install BlueStacks on our PC. So we're now in a position where we can go to the next step and install Markup RXP. To install Markup RXP on your BlueStacks emulator, uh, we click on the Play Store, which assumes that you've already registered. If you haven't already registered, you'll have to go through the process of adding your Google account and your password and uh, saying whether you want to back up the information and access data from Google Drive. So what we're searching for here, once we've done that, is it's opened up our Google Play Store. We're going to click on apps and I'm just going to type in markup RXP. And that brings up markup RXP here uh, where we can install. So we'll just give that a second to install. And we can see that's just downloading the information from the store within the emulator. And then it will go ahead and we can click the open button. So allow markup RXP to access all your media. Yes. And to take pictures. Yes. And now we have uh, installed Markup RXP on our BlueStacks emulator on our Windows PC, on our Windows computer. And that's how you can get the application up and running. The next step that you want to take is to make uh, your projects available on your BlueStacks emulator so that they can then be loaded up into Markup RXP. And the way that we do this, or one of the ways to do this, 
um, is we can go back to the home menu. So you've got the back button, the home menu, and you can view all your files, your recent apps here. But if we just click on the home menu, it takes us back to the main screen and you can see Marker Bar XP has now been downloaded. But what we're interested in doing here is going to the system apps. And in system apps, we'd like to go to the media manager because we want to add some media to our device. And you can see that, that we've got nothing currently downloaded. We can import from Windows or alternatively, if you have your file accessible, you can just copy that file across. And now you can see that that file has been loaded into uh, the, the media manager and it's one of the imported files. And if you explore, if you go to DCIM in the shared folder, that's where you will find that, that file has been imported. So let's go back to Marker Bar XP. So let's go to our recent apps and we can see Marker Bar XP is still there. And now what we would like to do is just go through the standard process of adding a project to Marker Bar XP. So let's click add. It's a PDF project that we would like to add. Uh, we don't have any downloads here. Uh, and if this happens where you don't have anything to, to see like this, for example, um, what you can do is if you click on the, the show internal storage here, it brings up the uh, device where we can go to DCIM. You could also search here for it in the shared folder and there's our mini bald eagle file. Click on the file. The file is then loaded in and we're now going through the standard process that we would normally go through for loading information into Markup RxP. So we're selecting the chart layout the overlap is correct, the key pages are correct, the picture page is correct, and then processes it, loads up the picture page, loads the symbols, and you can now see if we open up that file, let's give that a second, you can now see that the file is there. We could start marking up if we wanted to here, if that's what we wanted, or we can go to full chart mode, and we can check the preview and we have all the options that we would need to if we want to take the grid off or not show the center lines for example of the page breaks you've got all the various options that you would like to see and that's all accessible now in markup rxp so this video has covered how we can uh, on our windows pc install the uh, latest version of the BlueStacks emulator, making sure it's uh, the 64-bit version. And then from that, once that's installed, going through the Play Store to install Markup RxP within the emulator, and then how we can transfer files from our PC into the BlueStacks emulator so it's accessible by Markup RxP and load those patterns and charts into the application so we can now start our stitching uh, on our, our computers or our laptops as required. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, um, like and subscribe or leave a comment if you have a question. I'll try and get back to you. As always, thanks very much for watching.